The Hula Popper 2.0 is completely changing the face of Arbogast. We've engineered this bait to not only look good, but to be just as effective as the traditional model that anglers have trusted for decades. This is a mirror image of the popular G760 Hula Popper body, which is two inches long. We've upgraded the hooks, which are also now number six black nickel hooks. We've also equipped it with split rings, so now those hooks have a full range of motion and will help increase hookup ratios tremendously. The rear feather dress treble hook is another visually stunning feature about this bait. These feathers sit just beneath the surface of the water and have a beautiful tail-like appearance. They're dotted with the key color relating to each pattern, giving fish something to key in on when going for that strike. We've also got four brand new original color patterns to choose from. White Zombie, Blue Kill, Coach Hog, and Black Death. You'll notice on the back of these bodies are what appears to be cracks. This is created from a sensation from fast drying paint. The bright colored base layer of paint is put down initially and then gets a clear coat. From there, we put down a special paint on top of that layer that dries quickly and shrinks up. When it shrinks, it breaks apart and creates those crackle patterns. What's cool about this is that no two baits will dry up the same. Every single one will have its own unique pattern. There's a couple different ways you can work the Hula Popper 2.0. There's an aggressive approach and more subtle approach. The aggressive approach, you're basically leaving yourself no slack at all, and you're reeling up and pulling that bait underwater. This is gonna trigger a lot of reaction strikes, and it's a really great way to fish the bait when you're fishing dirty water. That's gonna mimic any type of bait fish that's fleeing or trying to get away from a predator. The second way is a lot more subtle approach. This is great for when you're fishing clear water. You're gonna wanna leave yourself a little bit of slack in your line. It's gonna allow that bait to not move quite nearly as far when you're making those sweeping motions with your rod tip to make that bait pop. That's gonna mimic any type of bait fish that's feeding at the top of the surface.